Hey everyone, welcome back. So a few months ago, I posted a video, this one here, about choosing your last rifle you're gonna have for survival, the one that you would choose to kind of a do-all rifle. I chose the Ruger 10-22. It uh, doesn't necessarily have to be that one, but I chose that one just because uh, it's the one that I have. And went over the pros and cons as far as what it could be used for and how useful it would actually be. And in the comments, definitely got a lot of uh, different opinions, which got a lot of good comments, a lot of stuff I totally agree with. And it's something that you definitely need to think through very uh, carefully when you're choosing something that that may be the only thing that you have left if you have to bug out if there is some sort of uh, major event that happens where you can't necessarily be at home and you can't have your stockpile, you basically got to kind of hit the road. And that was kind of where... I, I want people to think about is uh, you're not necessarily going to be stationary where you can have everything you want because obviously if you're going to be at your home where you have every everything that you need then yes I well, by all means I'm choosing my AR by my Glock 17 and my 12 gauge uh, to for my you know do all defensive and hunting capabilities so make sure you really think about things like that um, but yes I was kind of like hey you're not going to have a ton of room to necessarily haul a lot of uh, magazines, ammo, and thing. That's why 22 is obviously uh, definitely one of those ones where it can really benefit you as far as how much you can carry. So I want to stay on this topic just a little bit more. I want to do one more uh, video on this, um, and I may do a video where I take out you know the 22s that I have and just kind of do uh, some kind of you know demonstration as far as. Uh, the accuracy and what each one can do. So today I've got two. Uh, I want to talk about you know having a 22 pistol as opposed to a rifle maybe, but you could so you could throw these in your bag and they're very small. And they still don't take up a whole lot of weight or room. And yes, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, no, you can't use it for defense or hunting. It's just not powerful enough. It doesn't have any stopping power. That can pretty much be said about most 22s just in general, whether it be a pistol or a rifle. Obviously, with a pistol or a revolver, you're going to lose you know, some of that velocity. But I think people need to realize, too, that not there's people out there that cannot necessarily handle a full-size handgun, whether it be you know, dealing with the recoil or operating the slide. People have physical limitations, and that's you know, arthritis being one of them. And I think that's why a 22 pistol, which would be better than nothing, I think we can all agree. And it is going to be, I think, beneficial for people in that situation. So first one up, and I did a review on this one a long, long time ago. And that's the uh, Ruger Wrangler. Uh, it's a fun gun. I mean, 22 revolvers are, are always usually pretty fun. Uh, it is a six shot. It's a... Um, Single action, so you have to pull, hammer back each time. Now these have all been cleared. Um, but I'll try and kind of show you, hopefully you can see that it is empty. And no, the barrel's not pointing at my head, it's going to the side, so everybody, uh, please calm down in the comments. I'm not I'm gonna be pointing a gun at my head. So, anyways, these are really fun. Now these take a little bit more practice as far as accuracy, because you don't have much in the way of sights. You basically have your front post, and a little groove in the back. So this one's gonna take a little bit more uh, practice than, you know, say something with, you know, this one I'll get into in here in a second. It, there's basically no recoil. It, it is definitely a little bit heavier. Um, you know, it's all metal frame, but with some practice, you can definitely get, you know, some accuracy and does have, you know, a little bit longer barrel than some of your semi-automatic pistols. And for the most part, now people are gonna, say, well, revolvers are more reliable, they don't fail. Well, that's not true. I mean, you see all these grooves, there, there's stuff in here that could get stuck in here, especially if you drop it in the dirt or the rocks, a rock gets in there and this doesn't spin, you know, your gun's not gonna function. So you gotta be, make sure that when you pull that back, your your cylinder is rotating. So um, definitely not a, you know, well, it's, you know, indestructible, it'll never fail. Absolutely not true. All things can fail at some point, so keep that in mind, especially you know when you have this area back here, stuff gets in there. Hammer may not go all the way forward, so keep those things in mind. Now with this one, if someone's got 
um, like I said, you know, arthritis, something like that, and they're, they have a hard time operating stuff like this. This one's probably not going to be the one necessarily for them. Uh, I haven't shot this one a ton, but the hammer is pretty, pretty stiff pulling it back. So if you have, you know, your finger stuff like that, maybe not the best one. Um, but I think that having something this small that you can throw in your bag, you know, with a couple hundred rounds of ammunition, even if it's just as a backup, I'm not, I'm not saying this is going to be your primary survival gun or anything like that. I'm just saying kind of a backup gun you can throw in your pack with a lot of ammo that's not going to take up an, a ton of room or weight, like say, you know, a nine millimeter or something bigger like that. So, and that's what I do, you know, you don't want to get hit with any bullets. You know, when people say, oh, they don't do anything, it's like, yeah, they may not have the stopping power, but you know, if you're getting hit consistently with 22, you're gonna be having a bad day. I don't care what anybody says, it's gonna put a hole in you. That's not a good thing, especially if you're in a survival situation, you need medical attention. You can't just patch it up like they do in the movies. You need to get it, um, at least find somebody with some medical knowledge to patch you up. Uh, that's all fantasy. You can't just, you know, go on and on and on and on with bullet holes in you. Uh, let's be realistic. So you don't want to get hit by anything. You don't want to get hit by the high-powered air rifles either. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, just kind of a shout-out. Uh, if you haven't heard of, uh, you know, One Shot TV, he just did a video on, he just got this new, um, I think it's called the Zeus 72, whatever. It's like one of the most powerful air rifles and I think it's a 72 caliber, and that thing is insane. So you should check that video out. It's pretty cool. Um, that could definitely be used <laughs> as you know hunting and things like that. So uh, th I thought that was a cool video. So uh, if you want to check that out. Um, okay, so up next is going to be my Ruger SR22. It's cleared. Okay. Um, I do like this one. Uh, this is probably one of my more favorite 22s uh, that I've that I've shot. It's very comfortable. In fact, when you have the magazine in, even though it's small, I'm still able to wrap my pinky around the bottom of that mag lip there. So it still feels good. It's very comfortable. It's very lightweight. Again, recoil is not an issue with these, which is what definitely one of the biggest benefits to when you're choosing a 22, whether it be pistol or a rifle, is just, there's just not really any. Uh, recoil to them. Uh, this one's nice. It has ambi controls on both sides. Your safety and it's a decock as well. Um, ambi uh, magazine release, both sides. That's nice. There's a small rail on the bottom. Uh, adjustable sights in the back for uh, windage and elevation. So this thing is very, very accurate. Um, hidden 50 yards is, is no problem at all. But you can, and it shoots pretty fast. I mean, this thing will go as fast as you can pull the trigger. And like I said, I will be doing a video probably on all three of my rifle revolver and these just to kind of compare um, how they all shoot. Just kind of give you an idea if you haven't shot any of these. This one's really fun. Um, it's definitely my favorite. You can get, it comes with a couple different back strap or grips that you can slide off and on. This is the biggest one because the small one was really small for my hand. I don't have huge hands, but it was definitely very small. This one feels perfect. You can get a dump 10 rounds in a very small area very very quickly and that's again someone just mentioned that uh in the comments on that last video is you at the end of the day you get 10 holes put in you that's 10 holes that's just not a situation you want to be in now under stress and other things like that yes that's all going to take part so you're not going to be it's not you're going to be static and then shooting at a static uh target so keep that in mind when you go out if you're wanting to use something like this for defensive make sure you're going out you're doing things to kind of elevate maybe your stress or at least your heart rate you know to kind of get to where you might be a little bit you know you know kind of shaky a little bit that way you learn how to deal with those situations if you're to uh, encounter them training practice is absolutely important we have these none of these things are going to do you much good if you're not knowing how to clear a, a a failure or a jam or get your shots on target accurately lining up your sights these are all fundamentals that you need to know the gun should feel natural and comfortable when you pick it up every single time and that takes that's where the practice comes in it just should feel comfortable while i'm picking this up it just feels great it's very comfortable and like i said for people that do have um you know some physical ability you know disabilities you know hands stuff like that the slide on this comes back pretty easy it's really not hard at all to pull it back um 
So that is definitely a plus. The takedown on this is very easy. Now, I don't know how much you're really allowed to show on YouTube anymore as far as like taking things apart and putting them together, but it's very, very simple. There's basically one thing you pull back, there's a flip, comes all off. Uh, it is a fixed barrel, so it, as you can see, when I pull the side back, it does not rock. I'm gonna put the mag in so I can lock it back. Um, it is does not move, it is actually screwed into the frame. And I do believe you can get threaded barrels for this if you wanna suppress it, so that would be another good option too. You can make these very, very quiet. Now I know probably there's probably gonna be a ton of people out there that say go with the Mark IV. Hey, by all means, um, if you can afford it, go for it. I would still like to have one of those as well or whichever number they're on now, but those are great. Those are target uh, 22 pistols. I heard they run really, really well. You can do a lot to them and they're very quiet when you suppress them as well. They usually got a heavier, longer barrel. Um, but this one's been out for you know several years now and I just had a lot of fun with it. It can be a little persnickety with ammo, I've noticed. Uh, but it seems to run better on the CCI, the higher velocity rounds. If you're gonna try and run subs on this, I don't know how much, um, I have some, so when I do shoot it, I will try to run some subs through it. I don't think it's going to cycle, but we'll see, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, the CCI mini mags is, they seem to run just fine. So that's the thing too, with 22s, you gotta realize that they can be a little particular when it comes to ammo. So do your research, find the ammo that works best for your firearms and kind of stick with that. You know, with the semi-automatic, especially like the pistols, your higher velocity rounds are probably going to be best too. That may sure your that slide is running back every time and it's got enough power to, to push it. So, and this is, you know, it's a it's a metal slide. It's not like the, the Glock it was the 44. It's all polymer basically. So definitely like this one. Again, takedown maintenance is very easy. There's basically we take this off your slide guide rod and your spring that's about it you're cleaning good to go it's a very small barrel it's about two inches or so i think or something like that so um great little package I, it's, a, it's a fun gun if anything else um if you haven't shot one of these i definitely would recommend um trying one or, or picking one up those are kind of my thoughts on that is not necessarily you know that's going to be your defensive weapon you know you're, you're not going to be hunting with it necessarily but just something small enough you can throw in your bag with a couple hundred rounds just in case, just as a backup, because um, again, the ease of use, the recoil, There, like I said, there's a lot of people that they may not be able to handle the recoil of, you know, even a nine millimeter or a 40 or, or 45 ACP or any of those, it might just be too much for them. And also operating the slide can be difficult for a lot of people. So that's where these kind of come in, in place. They're a little bit easier to use. Um, they're still loud. So, you know, 22 rifle, yeah, they're usually pretty quiet. You can usually, you can do them without ear pro. You're gonna want still want ear pro because uh, these things still got quite a little pop to them when they when you when you're shooting them. So uh, keep that in mind. For one thing, it's your muzzle is gonna be a lot closer to your face than with a rifle and short barrel. They're loud, so make sure you're wearing ear protection when you're firing 22 pistols. They're still very very loud. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. And I know there's a lot of varieties of 20 semi-automatic 22 pistols. That's just the one I have. I'm not saying. Yes, you need to get that one, that particular one. I like it, it's fun. It's been a, a great kind of training tool for my son. When he started shooting, that's what he started on. He absolutely loves it. Now he's, can you know, he's old enough now. He shoots, you know, whatever. So um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you guys so much. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.